an overview of our workshop tomorrow will be it'll be about the involvement centre in Carlo, it'll be about the process in developing it, it'll be about where it came from in, in ARI, where, whereabouts, the governance of, of the involvement centre, it'll be about what we offer as an involvement centre, it'll also be about the challenges we face and it'll also be about the vision we see for the future in the involvement centre. And there'll also be an opportunity for people to ask questions in case they have, you know, specific questions they want to ask about setting up their own and stuff, because it sounds very um, intimidating a thing to set up an environment centre, but really it's quite a natural and simple thing. So just get the doors open. The key elements of an environment centre will be befriending, social inclusion. It should be about representing, getting people to represent, be represented on uh, governance and fo governance meetings on HSC forums, on committees. It should be about being an active participant rather than a passive recipient in one's recovery journey. Well, for me, it would relate to kind of participative action and active citizenship because you're representing voices that don't usually get represented. And there's also an aspect of reclamation because there is a stigma there about mental illness. And you can run away from that or you can actually face it. So usually in an involvement centre, what you're hoping for is you're getting all stakeholders together in a kind of a natural situation. It's not a day centre, it's more of a coming together, working together in partnership and reclaiming, you know, what we, what we thought was mental health treatment and now what's the future of recovery in this country, you know? I think it can be related actually directly to the CHIME model. There's a sense of connectedness, hope, identity, meaning and empowerment. It's a place where all those things can happen and come together, especially if you can get as much of the community represented as, pos as possible. You don't have to be somebody with an experience to go into an environment centre. You can be a service user, a service provider, a family member, just a member of the community. Like, it's a place for everyone. I suppose the challenges it faces is a lot of mistrust between service users and the HSC. So I think that's one of the biggest challenges we are, we're facing at the moment in the Vama Centre, is trusting that it is a change service or a changing service and trusting that the, the HSC are doing everything in their power to change the culture and the organisation. For most people, they have been in, involved in, in, set, in patient hospital settings and they want to see a different culture and a different movement of orga the organisation. So that's one challenge we're facing. Another challenge I would see is that there is a stigma there. Your inclination would be to run away from that stigma, to create a centre or a hub in the middle of a community that has absolutely nothing to do with mental health, but everything to do with mental health. But I think there's a part of it that you can actually reclaim. Say St. Dipna's itself is a, is a psychiatric hospital where we're based, and St. Dipna would have been the saint of fallen women. So what you see in the Environment Centre is a lot of strong women about the place reclaiming what they want the building to be and how they want it to be used in the future and getting involved. So I think we've kind of turned St. Dipna on our head. Find out everything possible about the challenges and the process and the, what, what's to be offered in an Environment Centre, the workshops, how you cope the co-production, and also, it's, it's, it's vitally important to learn about what, the, what their vision, you know. So if, I think that if everyone going into the Involvement Centre has the same vision, it can work. I think if people have different visions, the vision would change according to the people in there. Challenge to work collaboratively, and like I think that's something any organisation would face. For the Involvement Centre to work, you need as many people together as possible, working collaboratively towards a common aim. So I would say just get the doors open and learn from each other. Sometimes it might be as simple as that. Yeah, you learn on your feet. <laughs> you literally learn as you go along. You defeat challenges, you overcome those challenges, you go in again and maybe something else that has to be changed or altered or the code of conduct has to be ordered, altered. So it's all the time evolving and changing. It's a new process and there's no template for it, even though people did go to Nottingham and see the service over there. But there's no template for it over here in Ireland. So it's just learning as we go along. And I think every involvement centre could be different. It could have a different character depending on the people you get at the table. You know, so it's getting those right people together who can work collaboratively towards a shared vision, work together well, uh, means every involvement centre could bring something really special to the table.